Um, let's see here. Shador Sanders, dang near a thousand yards already, 999. Uh, 999 yards passing already. Michael West leading the team, like I said, 65 yards. Travis Hunter, 342 yards receiving. Um, is he the Heisman Trophy winner already, or should he be higher on the list from what people are saying? Uh, what do, what does he have to do to be in the top three uh, at the end of the season uh, as far as a Heisman candidate? Well, first off, yes. I think he should be higher than what he's being uh, – the odds I've seen so far, I think he should be higher than that. Um, mm -hmm. To me, we had an I had an interesting discussion with some people in the press box the other day about this. Um, I asked if Travis keeps doing what he's doing, and let's say you average it out over the course of the year, and he finishes with twelve hundred yards receiving, eighteen touchdowns because he's on pace for like twenty touchdowns, eighteen touchdowns, a hundred catches, whatever it is, and he's got four or five picks on defense, and he's one of the best corners in the country. How many wins does Colorado need in order for him to win the Heisman Trophy? Because we know that most guys that win the Heisman Trophy these days, it's almost all right. Who are the top four teams in the country, and let's play, let's uh, pick the best player off of that that team, right? Right. right. Um, so most of the years, you you can't afford more than two losses. Yeah. Right. I so, but I my opinion but is I think if Colorado is six and six, and Travis is doing what he's doing. He's the Heisman Trophy winner. See, my thing is this. If you're going to say that the Heisman Trophy winner goes to the best player, then, dog, you got to give it to the best player. Right. And I know you say you, you want to look at the big teams and the schools and who's at the top all the time. But in a unique situation like this where you have a guy doing something that you haven't seen since when. Right. Only off the field for a couple of plays here and there. And he's being productive and leading the team. The mm -hmm. main guy, once he's on this side or that side of the ball, it doesn't matter. He's the Heisman Trophy winner if I've ever seen one, right. like for 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 real, you right. know. And this is going to the best player on in college football. So if he stays healthy, continues to do the things that he's doing right now, it is no doubt. It shouldn't be no conversation to me. Let's say a guy like Jay Lemiro, right? And I know this is going a little bit off the subject, but this is what we're doing right here. Um, <laughs> guy like Jay Lemiro from Alabama, right? If Alabama loses one game there in the college football playoffs and uh, uh, Travis is, is on that same production, he has 20 mm -hmm. touchdowns, receiving 1,000 yards and five picks. That's the Heisman Trophy winner, or at least he should be sitting next to uh, Jay Lemiro. Jalen will have to have 20 touchdowns also, I think, rushing, passing, and whatever, and a low number of uh, interceptions yeah. to beat out Travis Hunter. And that goes for any quarterback or any other any other player who's only playing one position. That's what I feel like the Heisman Trophy should be going to. Well, and listen to this. I mean, he, he could legitimately be not only the winner, but he could be a, the finalist for the Thorpe Award and the Blitnikoff Award. If you're yeah. the if you're one of the, if you're one of the finalists in for both of those awards, and you're an All American potentially on both sides of the ball, how are you not the best player and the Heisman Trophy winner? And that's my whole point right there. That's but all the I'm Heisman Trophy say. doesn't you know we get skewed on uh, defining things sometimes, and you know I, I've been a Heisman voter for a number of years, but um, I think a lot of times we don't go with who's the most outstanding player in the country, which is what the trophy is for. Right. It's who's the best quarterback, <laughs> you know, yeah. or or who's the best player on the best team. And that's given, and that's why the quarterbacks, I think, are making so much money in the league because they're pumped up like that. They're giving yeah. so much praise. Now, you know, you know, uh, toughest position to play, probably why I would say. And that's true. You know, you just can't go out there and play quarterback. You can yeah. go out there and do some other things. But in this case, Who's doing? Who's who's not coming off the field like right. this little league football, or right. like this intermediate football, <laughs> or like this high school football? Who the hell is doing that? Nobody else. So I will uh, say, too, I, you know, this is a this is a better discussion probably in November when we see what he's done. Right, but, right. You're right, but I, I will say this. First off, he's got to stay healthy. Um, if he misses games, multiple games, that could be a problem. But mm -hmm. uh, I'll say this too. I think it's gonna be tough for him to win it because. I do think there will be voters that don't vote him because he plays for Colorado and he plays for Coach Prime. 
all right so let's say this are, are there because i don't know this right now this is just off the top of my head are there more media voters than former heisman trophy voters for the award oh yeah yeah because you only have i mean how well, many media probably, voters are there i need to research oh, there, that. there's tons there, there's look if i'm voting for it there's more <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> because uh you know I'm, I'm just i'm putting myself down there but like there's got to yeah. be only what I don't know how many living Heisman Trophy winners there are. Yeah, um, you know, forty, and, and there's I, over there's six hundred and some. Up. There's six hundred and some well, voters. Six hundred some media Trophy. media voter, voters. Yeah, so there's okay. there's a lot. I mean, there's writers all around the country and media people that are doing it. So, um, yeah. So yeah. I, well, yeah, I'll I, say this. I'll say this. I would I would bet money that if it was up to just the former Heisman Trophy winners, the guys who won the award, I would bet money that it would probably be very close to a unanimous decision that yeah. it would be Travis Hunter for the award. And that's just my say. We'll talk more about this <laughs> in the later shows as yeah. as uh, we will be continuing to do in this show into uh, October. So y'all stay tuned right here on the Bleacher Report Network. I'm very Let's curious to see two months from now. Yeah. You know, it's mid-November. What do his numbers look like? So that Great. that's when... Video, you know, video game numbers? Yeah. If he man, if he can just stay, you know, a little bit on this pace, but also get those turnovers on defense, it's going that. It should be just a, a landslide victory, right? Because yeah. he's killing it on the receiver side. And, and shout out to all the other receivers who's doing things in college football. Uh, we're going to see one coming up versus Arizona, um, uh, and you know we're going to face some good quarterbacks also with Kansas mm -hmm. and such. We'll see Dylan Edwards coming soon. But uh, this Baylor team coming up, there no, no, there is no slouch in them. 